the Wake County will have a new sheriff. Within the past 45 minutes, WREL called the race with Army and law enforcement veteran Willie Rowe winning with 75% of the vote in this second primary against incumbent Gerald Baker, who received just 25%. Roe now faces Republican Donnie Harrison in November. These results will shape the future of law enforcement in Wake County and the safety of all Wake County families. WRL is your election headquarters and we are live on major races here in Wake County and in Fayetteville. We begin with Aaron Thomas in Raleigh, where, as we just said, incumbent Gerald Baker is out as sheriff. Aaron. Yeah, Gerald, this was certainly not the result that Wake County Sheriff Gerald Baker was hoping for. In fact, I literally just wrapped up an interview with him about the past two minutes or so. Uh, he had a lot of good things to say. I want to sum up really uh, what he just said a few moments ago. He said that he's proud of the work that he and his team have accomplished within the last four years. He says that the voters have spoken as a result of the results we just saw tonight. He says that uh, tonight's result sets the office back about four years, and come November, it will set them back another uh, 16 years. That all according to Sheriff Baker. Now, within the past maybe five minutes, they just wrapped up a closed-door meeting here at the Sheraton Hotel in downtown Raleigh. I, when we had a previous conversation, he was saying he was really looking forward to building some of the momentum in the sheriff's office. He wanted to build that integrity. He wanted to fight uh, crime and make sure that the office was fiscally sound. Uh, we do know that his office did face a little bit of a morale issue coming from former employees and there were some staffing shortages, but he also indicated that the uh, morale was stronger than it's ever been. But he did watch a lot of those results very, very closely. And again, not the result that he wanted, but he says that he does plan to go back to work first thing in the morning. I do want to send things over to my colleague, Adam Owens, who covered uh, the challenger to Sheriff Baker, and that's Willie Rowe. Adam? Yeah, there were a lot of people in Team Row here that were feel, filling this room here behind me. A lot of them are gone, obviously, but they left extremely happy. We don't know who the next Wake County Sheriff will be, but we know it will not be the current sheriff in office right now. Challenger Willie Rowe beat Sheriff Gerald Baker in a runoff tonight for the Democratic nomination. A key part of Rowe's campaign was concern over staffing issues in the current administration. Rowe tells me he was concerned about morale and vacancies among deputies. His plans to fix that include pay increases and improved working conditions. Rowe is an Army veteran and retired major from the sheriff's office, and now he's a step closer to potentially leading that office where he used to work. The race is not over, though. He understands that. Now he takes on the Republican nominee, the former sheriff, Donnie Harrison. We work harder. We stay in the fight. We stay engaged. We listen to the people, and we make sure that we have the plan that uh, people will gravitate to our message of how we can make Wake County the safest place to live, work, play, and visit. We can do it by improving the morale at the sheriff's office, by increasing staffing, inc uh, improving the working conditions, and just working together as a team. Yes, yeah, so you heard him there. The race is not over. It simply just moves into another gear as we get closer to November. So a lot of people were fired up in this room. They say that they're ready to continue the fight all the way uh, to November when they take on that Republican candidate as well. Back to you. A range of emotions tonight. Mm -hmm. Adam Owens live in Raleigh. Thank you, Adam.